39 passion flower way there are some cracks going down from the window following the blocks looking at the roof and the gutter right now so they have gutters up front the sidewalks are all um, I don't know what you would call that almost like stamped and squares with tile coming in room for um, seating out here as you walk into the home you can see out to the lanai Tiles look good. There's a closet, coat closet, and room for vacuum when you come in. The house is very clean. Taking a look to see if there's any cracks in the ceiling. The vents look pretty clean. There are some cracks here of running along the top and it's a popcorn ceiling. So this is looking from the lanai back out to the front door. You can see the dining room and the master bedroom right off the lanai. So we're going to come to the dining area, ceiling vaulted in the living room and slanted to the vault in the dining room. So it's going to be laminate tiles in the kitchen, the refrigerator is a Kenmore, double door with water. This is interesting as it's glass. I don't know uh, what this is. I haven't seen it before, but it's right above the dishwasher, which is the Kenmore. There's wallpaper in the kitchen. The grout needs, needs done, but stainless steel sinks. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see back here. You, I'm getting a decent, I can get my phone back there so you can kind of see. Um, the home inspector likes a high loop and likes to see that. You'd have to pick up that line to make that happen. And then you have a big area right beside the kitchen. They have a TV here. Trying to figure out how to get the dining room light on for us. Hmm. Can't figure out where the switch is right now. And maybe it's just not working or burned out. It should be this switch, I would think, or the other one. So the wallpaper's peeling a little bit. Trying to take a look at the windows. They're double pane. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're double pane, unless it's on the outside, which I've never seen that. Okay, and then off right to the, if you're facing the breakfast area, the dining area, to the right is the other family room with the blue couch, fireplace. And this is slanted, the ceiling, half vault.
There's a window in this cubby for the bookcases. On either side with a huge wooden mantel. Trying to look at and see if there's any cracks in the ceiling. Oh, my husband got all the lights on for us. Thank you, Mike. So you'd have some good separation between the two rooms. And that kind of gives you, I can see from the family room into the like formal living room, coming back into the kitchen. On this side, you've got the rain, well, the stove top. And there's no microwave here. It's just the vent, the microwave is built in. So it's a microwave and stove unit. You got the laminate tile throughout, laminate in the laundry. These walls are a little more marked up. The rest of the house is not. So you have some, like a folding place and storage. And you've got the sink, a lot of staining in the sink, but that's how utility sinks usually work. Look, they have an, uh, an ironing board that comes out. My grandma used to have that. They are convenient. And you have room right here to put it down. So if I can, to put the ironing board down and iron. There is a water stain above this folding area with the storage. So I am seeing that on above the um, counter. Okay. So coming down the hallway, you have the garage and laundry straight ahead to kind of give you the, we've got the dining area to the right front door, dining area. To my left is the kitchen. Coming down that hallway, you have the extra rooms, the guest bedrooms. With a closet. The screens are a little threadbare in this room, but the windows are good. Coming back out into the hallway. You have the guest bathroom and the other guest bedroom right next to it. And this room feels bigger. And the closet goes pretty far. So a regular closet. Let's see if I can back that off a little bit so you can see with the bifold doors.
There's no light on the fan in this room, but there's two. Well, they have two lights here. Okay, and the guest bathroom has got a tile floor, gray, white with a little pink marbling, um, cultured marble countertop. Under the sink. I can't tell what that, if that's dirt or a stain in the back. I'm not seeing a bulge. There's a little bit of, you know, wallpaper, a little bit of bump there peeling by the toilet, but not anything that's showing me there was a leak. The guest bath is a tub with the tile shower combo. They recently caulked in that back corner. This needs some caulk. spot there no. and there's a medicine cabinet so now we're coming back through the hallway so this truly is a split floor plan Coming to the master bedroom, which is very large. Dual sinks in the master. With a very large master closet. Attic access. There's tile in the in the um, tub area. So this tub has jets. Looks like it's all cultured marbles. They've re recently they recocked it one time. Let's put it that way. The white part, I don't know if it, that's part of the marbling by the drain. I'm not seeing an access panel to access the jets. Commode um, right by the shower. So you're gonna enter the shower. right by the commode. They wallpapered around and underneath they did a good job. Starting to come up in the corner by the shower. If I can move the bed. Yeah, we've got some water probably from the, see how that's loose? Um, so that's probably from the shower because it sprays that way towards that corner. So you're going to have to make sure to caulk and seal that up. But this house shows very nicely. They did run some 
cable. I don't know where that's coming from. It's along the door jam. Where they, um, oh, where the sliding glass doors, the curtains here, I don't have to think that is taken off the paint right there on the wall. But the walls look pretty good. And this opens up to the lanai. We'll go out there next. So we're back out into the formal living room. Into the kitchen, eating area. You can see the family room. We're going through the eating area and going out to the lanai. So a large lanai with a fan. They have the screens. backyard. Oh, it looks like maybe they ran cable because that's in the sliding glass door coming out. So that must be how they got the cable for the TV. But these are just screens enclosing the lanai. There is a, um, sh like a roll down shutter, not a shutter, but a curtain. So you must get afternoon sun back here. There's a dog next door. He hasn't barked at me yet. So probably friendly. I'm having trouble getting the door open, the screen door. It's got a lock on the top that I can't push over. It's okay. That door's kind of frozen shut. I don't think they maybe use that door a whole lot. But it's very quiet and screened in. Uh, the neighbors on to the left both have chain link fence. The neighbor to the right has a privacy fence. Um, so it's only the back of the yard that's not fenced. So you have a lot of privacy back here. There's a little uh, rusting on the beam. Try and get you a shot of all that. You might need to replace at least the, the lock on that door. And the screen has um, some holes up in the corner. I don't know if you can see that. There's some almost like paint chips. I'm trying to see where those are coming from. Probably uh, the shade. take a look in the garage. So 
They're coming through the kitchen again. Okay, so let's start with the kind of the ceiling. see some areas where you can see the tape lines. They do have the pull down. It looks like some condensation where the, the paint's coming off the boards. Oh. Hopefully you can see that now. There's a bump. It's showing up better in the picture on the camera than it does to the eye. This streak, I don't know why it's a different color. But that's kind of showing up. There's a rainbird, and I'm trying to get close. They put everything underneath the panel, of course. I can't see any markings on that panel, which I think is a good thing, because if it's a challenger, it's on there. Hopefully you can see it to know what type of panel. It is full. So if you had to add anything, um, you'd have to add to the box or replace the box. They've painted the garage floor green. Looks like they've had some water on this side. I'm seeing some water marks on the wall that could be mold. I don't know, it's going all the way down this side. seeing some work that was done by the window. Can you see the, what I think is the repair mark? And this wall doesn't have that along the side. Seeing some maybe evidence of leaks in the past with the HVAC. It's a train unit. Let's see if I can see a date. Manufactured date one of 2009. That's when it was manufactured. And then we have the hot water heater. It's a Kenmore, so this is gonna be older. Let's see if we have a manufacturer date here on the water heater. Yeah, the, the writing is very faint now but I don't see a date. My husband, I think, found it over here.
Where did you see the date, Mike? Just that was based. On a 1994 government national average. So, so this could be 1994, but that's not, it's the only date I'm seeing. The installed date is blank. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it was probably a couple of years after that, but, you know. But I'm seeing a copper pipe. It, <clears throat> but on top, it looks like the copper piping was replaced at some time. So you're probably going to need a hot water heater, but it, it looks clean. There's a side garage door, and there's a little working area up front.